Good morning, friends. Happy Thursday to all of you. So, friends, it has been confirmed that boosted monthly benefit checks will be sent out next month to help all eligible Americans. A new timeline for when these checks will be deposited has been released. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video for all of the details on the Ford stimulus package. I will be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the giveaways, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos, comment below the keyword of each video that you watch, and also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Remember friends that the more often you comment below a keyword on a video, the greater your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. The next giveaway is scheduled for tomorrow. Republicans, on the other hand, believe that Americans should control their own lives, their purchasing decisions, their health care decisions, and even their businesses and apprenticeship programs. Business owners across the country try to utilize apprenticeships to develop the skilled employees that they need to succeed and grow. Sadly, this Democrat bill only funds government-approved apprenticeships that are registered with the Department of Labor not those designed by business owners who have the audacity to think that they know more about their business than those with no business experience, like President Biden and the progressive activists that make up his administration. Why would anyone trust Joe Biden to run their business? He has no private sector experience, but he is now the proud owner of the worst economic record in modern history. So there is that. But why would anyone trust Democrats in this Congress or this administration to run their business? These former educators, lawyers, community organizers, and progressive activists have ruined the outstanding economy that they inherited in January of 2021. But House Democrats demand that you have your apprenticeship program designed by unelected bureaucrats in the Department of Labor because, of course, Washington knows best when it comes to everything. I mean, look what they have done with inflation, supply chains, rising crime, the open border, and everything else. They are a picture of success. But if Washington truly knew best, then one in four businesses wouldn't... The Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, which is also known as SNAP, is the nation's most important anti-hunger program, reaching 41 million Americans nationwide every year, administered at the state level. SNAP provides food purchasing assistance to low-income households. SNAP deposit schedules vary by state. Payments are usually distributed according to the last numbers of your identification number for your state's program. However, some states may distribute benefits on a different date each month. States also have different rules regarding payment days that fall on weekends or holidays. Payments are deposited monthly into SNAP accounts which are linked to electronic benefit transfer cards. The money that you're given every month is your allotment of food stamps. SNAP households are expected to spend about 30% of their own resources on food. Benefits will usually cover the other 70% of household groceries. If your household size is one, then your maximum monthly allotment is 250. If your household size is two, then your maximum monthly allotment is $459. For a household with more than eight people, $188 is added per person for additional family members. Many U.S. states have passed legislation that provides SNAP beneficiaries with boosted monthly benefit payments. If the federal government ends its crisis emergency declaration, significant boosts to food stamps will also disappear for at least 700,000 Ohio households. Unfortunately, more people are expected to start showing up at food pantries this summer. Food banks, which are seeking more state money to help, may have to turn people away. Around 120 million per month in federal funds has boosted food stamps in Ohio. Since the government authorized large increases at the beginning of this crisis, when businesses shut down and millions of Americans lost their jobs, Advocates have praised the current crisis increased benefits and have long said that food stamps were amounts that were never enough. They point to studies and data that showed that SNAP and other nutritional aid prevented a much worse hunger situation during the crisis. So dear friends, do you think that SNAP benefits should remain expanded? Please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Friends, the key word for this video is 
Vancouver. If you would like to enter tomorrow's Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Vancouver and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you're also subscribed to my channel. Democrats are running out of time to clinch a deal on a social spending, climate, and clean energy package. What exactly Democratic Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia wants in a package is still proving hard to pin down. Senator Manchin restarted talks with the White House weeks ago on the contours of the slim down package. It is to combat inflation, raise corporate taxes, and fund clean energy investments. Joe Manchin raised eyebrows by convening a bipartisan group of senators to try to find areas of agreement on energy security and climate change. Senator Manchin spokesperson Sam Runyon told CNN News in a statement, the meeting was an effort to gauge bipartisan interests in a path forward that addresses our nation's climate and energy security head on. North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer, a Republican lawmaker that attended the Monday meeting, told CNN News that he believes Joe Manchin has turned to more of a bipartisan approach on energy rather than relying on the White House to negotiate a package with him. But leaving a meeting with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, Senator Manchin himself told reporters that the bipartisan talks were not necessarily replacing climate or clean energy provisions in a slimmer reconciliation bill. Manchin said those provisions would still be a big factor in any reconciliation bill. Whether Senator Manchin's bipartisan energy talks amount to anything, the further delay they could cause is worrying Democratic senators who are trying to reach a deal before the deadline. Senate Finance Committee Chair Ron Wyden, who's an Oregon Democrat, also told CNN News, I'm all for bipartisanship where we can find it, but time is of the essence. We cannot wait another decade to pass this legislation. So dear friends, do you think that they'll ever come to an agreement? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Well, my fabulous friends, that is the end of this daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. The winner of Wednesday's giveaway is Penny Taylor. Congratulations, my friend. Please note if I have announced your name as a winner, do check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you, my friends, and have a wonderful and blessed Thursday.